I'm Arthi Krivik. I'm one of the co-founders of Glen Rock After the March. Thank you so much for coming. And Erin and Women for Progress, thank you so much for being here and co-sponsoring this and co-hosting this with us. Like many of us here, maybe all of us here, I was furious and heartbroken as I followed the events as they unfolded this past weekend in Charlottesville, Virginia. But what I wasn't was very surprised. We know racism exists. Many of us, me, myself included, have faced it, have faced racial rhetoric, have faced racist acts against us. But to me, particularly over the last few months, more overt and egregious acts of hatred have bubbled up to the surface than have ever before, at least in my lifetime. And this to me is deeply disturbing and soul crushing. Because we should not be moving backwards, we should be moving forwards. So it does my heart good, really, it does my heart good to see so many of you out here, so many of us here, I am so grateful. But I'm hoping that while we're standing here and speaking up and speaking out against acts of racism and speaking out against things like white nationalists marching en masse, holding torches in one of the oldest campuses on America, that we, with our light of our candles, are showing them what peace and love can do. And this is, to me, this is not an isolated problem in the South or in another part of the country. Southern Poverty Law Center shows us that there are seven active white nationalist groups in New Jersey, active today. This is clearly a problem for all of us in all of our communities. So thank you for coming. Thank you for speaking out. Thank you for standing up. And what I'm hoping this is going to do, this gathering is going to inspire us all to take action. To take action against overt, inherent, and systemic racism that exists today. So that we speak out and we stand up for social justice daily, regularly, in all parts of our lives. Because we need to show our community, we need to show our children that doing so, doing daily acts of courage, that's the only way, that's the only way we're gonna show our communities and our kids that hate has no home 